Alright, so welcome back gentlemen to this new tutorial, I'd like to show you a cool trick that allows you to achieve photorealistic smoke in Blender 2.9. So we're going to be working on the shader editor. So in the previous tutorial, we learned how to achieve this, how to bake this smoke like this. So now I'd like to show you something. So if we switch over here to the render view, we're not going to be able to see anything. So why is that? So the reason why we're not able to see our smoke in the render view is because we don't have any assigned shader to our uh, to our domain you can see that it's empty so i'm gonna go ahead over here and click on new and let's call it smoke all right so since we are using the smoke i don't need this principal psdf also let me just zoom in so that we can be able to see these notes so this is the principal psdf i'm gonna just delete it and instead i'm gonna hit shift a and let's use the volume principal psdf this one so I'm going to be connecting the volume to the volume, not to the surface. So now if we switch to the render, we're going to be able to see some smoke, which is very bad quality. So what I'd like to do right now is I'm going to be increasing this, these values over here. For example, the black body intensity, I would like to set it to 100 because we're having some heavy fire power over here. So let's switch back to the render. And now as you can see, we're able to see our fire. But as you can see, our smoke is not looking that good. It sucks, so we need to improve it. But also over here, I'd like to show you that we can control this value over here, the, the temperature. For example, we can give it five, 1500. And, but to be honest, I don't like this effect because it's making it white. So we, we, start, we start to lose some details. So I'm gonna just turn it back to 1000. And now this is where the real fun gets started. So the first parameter that I would like to add it's gonna be a math node, also I prefer to switch back to the solid over here. So I'm gonna start with a math node, so shift A, let's search for a math node, this one, I'm gonna put it over here, and let's add the other one, which is gonna be a color ramp, so shift A, let's add a color ramp, just like this, let's put it aside, and finally we need an attribute, this one, density attribute, so shift A, let's add an attribute, like this, and let's start connecting these, so for the attribute, I would like to connect the factor to the factor, just like this, and over here for the, the color, I'm going to be connecting it to the top side. And over here for the value, I would like to connect it to the density, just like this. And also over here, I would like to make some changes. So for example, I would like to change it from add to multiply the function. And also for this value over here, I would like to increase it to 100, just like this. And also over here, I don't want, I don't want to have this uh, graphic, this uh, linear uh, colors over here. I'm going to be switching it from linear to constant so that you can have fixed colors, just like this. But also over here on the name, we need to write down density, just like we have, just like what we have over here, the density attribute. All right, so now if we, let me just switch to the render. So if we start moving this handle to the left side, so we're gonna start seeing some smoke, you can see that over here. So we can just tighten that up, and over here you can see that, how realistic this smoke starts to appear over here. It's a really nice effect. So basically feel free to control this value to whatever you want. In my case, I'm gonna just keep it like this. All right, so this is our render. You can see how nice that fire looks like. So basically that's it for the tutorial. So we learned how to make our smoke look much more realistic using this node setup that we built over here. By the way, you can watch the long format tutorial for free on realityfickles.net to achieve this final outcome, this final animation. So the link is gonna be down below. Also, I'd like to say a disclaimer. So if you are not achieving the good results from the start, don't worry about it. You're not alone. You can see only over here how many times I've tried to achieve that good results, but it's gonna take some time to be honest. But uh, you're gonna achieve it eventually. So just follow those steps and you're gonna achieve it. And also, if you need any help, you can contact me via the support, realityfakers.net website. You can see over there the support on the bottom side. So thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. And I'm gonna hope to see you in the coming tutorial. Take care.